Ta-da! Here we are. Home sweet home. Now it has the one person it's been missing this entire time. Oh yes, my darling. That's you. Here, let me get the door for you. Go on through first. I'll come in after you. Ah, there we are. Finally inside. What do you think? Yeah, it's a lot to take in at one sitting. This manor runs in the family. It was passed down to me by my parents a long time ago. Indeed, it does get lonely with only me living here. But now, I won't be alone in this big house anymore. I have you, honey. Ah, I see. You'll get used to living here with me. It's not going to happen right away, you know. I can tell you love how this place looks. Are you hungry? Thirsty? Or do you just want to put your things down and settle in? I understand. You'll need some time to adjust. A lot has happened in such a short amount of time. Here, take my hand. You'll easily get lost in the hallways if you don't have me to guide you. Huh? You want to see my basement? Well, I did mention it earlier. What about it? Do you want to take a peek at it? I mean, it's a pretty comfy basement if you're asking me. Alrighty then, be my guest. Let's guide you to the stairs. Let's open the door and down we go. Here we are. Take a look around. There's not too much to see around here. I mean, I did decorate it for a special occasion. That occasion being having you finally here with me. Do you see these walls? They're painted in your favorite colors. Do you see this furniture? I bought only the best to make sure it would be comfortable for you. I rigged up a fridge and everything just to make it extra comfortable for you. Look, there's even a bed for you in the corner. There's another door leading to an adjourning bedroom. The other door is a walk-in wardrobe. My, my. Look at that expression. A mixture of shock and awe. Were you not expecting me to put so much time and effort into anything? <laughs> oh, my dear darling. You have so much to learn about me. <laughs> You know practically nothing about me. All you know is my name and what I am. My apologies about that. Go on, go on. Ask whatever you'd like of me. I'll let you know what I can or can't answer. I will warn you that there are some things that are better left hidden where they're buried. I'm sure you catch my drift, don't you? Good. I'm glad we're still on the same page here. If you don't want to stay in my cozy, well-decorated basement, I can show you to the bedroom instead. It's also pretty comfy if you ask me. Huh? How do I know what your favorite colors are? How do I know what your favorite foods are? <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> you should know this already. I'm a yandere. I graduated top of my class for a reason. Do you seriously want to know why? Very well then. Don't say I didn't give you a fair warning. I've been doing more than watching you from the bushes, you see. I placed many cameras all throughout your house. They were inconspicuous, so you wouldn't notice them even if you tried looking for them. I tracked your food at night to make sure you slept seven to eight hours each evening. I made you all of your breakfasts, lunch, and dinners. Oh, you thought that you made them the day prior? <laughs> oh, my poor, poor darling. You still have so much to learn. 
That's okay. We have all the time in the world for you to learn all about me. <clears throat> now, where was I? Ah, I remember. I followed you in the shadows everywhere you went. I had to make sure you were safe. There's no telling who or what might attack you out there. I needed to make sure my sweetheart wasn't in any sort of danger. <sighs> There's that look I was expecting. Shock, fear, dread. And what's that? Do I see beneath all of that excitement? Does it excite you, knowing someone is always watching you? That someone is always looking out for you? That someone is always keeping you safe and well taken care of? That's what I thought. My, my. Your cheeks are getting a little flushed. Are you okay? Are you feeling all right? Let me check your forehead, if you don't mind. Hmm. No fever. That's good. Oh, wait. Are you flushing? You definitely are. There's no denying it, sweetheart. You're blushing so fiercely, you're turning in the same shade as the blood I've spilled in the past. Oh, don't give me that look. It was done for good reasons, you know. Yeah, yeah. You keep saying that. See how far it gets you. Anyway, I best not tell you too much of my escapades. I don't want you getting a bad image of me. Nope. We can't have that happen. So now, I'll show you the bedroom. Then you can choose where you'll stay. Either in my basement, or in my bedroom. <laughs> Someone's blushing even more. No, no, nothing lewd will happen. Get your mind out of the gutter, darling. I'm a wholesome yandere. The most wholesome one you'll ever find. <laughs> Come with me. I take my hand. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? Hmm? Oh, yes. You've noticed the portrait on the walls. There aren't that many. The ones that you see are of my ancestors. Everyone in my family has been yandere's. The line started generations ago. However, that's a story for another day. Down this way, please. Alrighty, here we are. This is the master bedroom. I do apologize for the noise. It's an old manor. You never know when a door may slam, a floor may creak, and so on. I'm sure you can understand, right? Good. Oh, did you notice this bedroom? It's a complete replica of your own from your own house. I got all the details perfectly. I made sure to get everything perfect just for your arrival. What do you think of it? Oh, that's wonderful, darling. I had a feeling you would love how much attention I pay to detail. I've always paid extra special attention to you. You're more than welcome, honey. You deserve the best, after all. I know what you've been through. And now you're here with me, where you'll be much happier now. Do so keep in mind, I'm giving you an option. Do you want to stay here in my bedroom, or down in my basement? What will it be? Do you keep in mind I don't have all night? Oh, you've made a decision, my dear. Do tell, do tell. I'm all ears. So you want to stay here in my bedroom? Is that correct? Hmm, I see. The thing is... If you stay here in my bedroom, 
I have to keep you in a certain position. I won't let you leave. You're not allowed to run away from me when I just got you here. I know while you are excited, I know you're also still afraid. The best way to get rid of that fear is to keep you confined, so I can keep a close eye on you. Oh, don't back away. The door's locked shut. There's no hope of getting out of this room. I'm the only one who can open any of the doors and windows here. You have no power. You have no control here. To think you have any place making any demands is foolish. You're smarter than that, sweetie. I'm sorry to say this, but I need to tie you up. Now, now, don't be so nervous. It's nothing too bad. It's just some rope. If you don't want the rope, then I can bring out my pair of fuzzy handcuffs instead. Either way, I'm going to tie you down so you won't even get any ideas of escape in that pretty head of yours. There we go. Much better. Aw, don't give me that look. This is for your own good. You have to earn my trust first. I still don't know if you want to try to leave me. Your lips say you won't, but your eyes say you will. That's okay. The human mind is a malleable thing. It can be molded to obedience with the correct conditioning. All it takes is the right amount of words and action. Soon you'll be broken enough for me to trust you. (laughs) You'll be fine. It'll take time to break your mind. Of course it will. It'll be worth it. Besides, I know your browsing history. I know the things you search for and the things you listen to. Aw, don't be ashamed. We all have our own interests. Are you struggling, dear? You shouldn't struggle too much. The restraints will dig into you more if you wriggle too much. I don't want you to get hurt. But I can't make any promises if you keep struggling like that. Oh, look. You managed to finally calm down and stop struggling. Let's see how long that lasts. (laughs) I have a few things to do. I'll leave you here tied to my bed. When I return, I'll feed you something very tasty. It'll be one of your favorite meals. However, if you're bad and misbehave, then, well, you'll be in for quite the surprise. (laughs) See you soon, cutie.